Boy, do I have an EKG for you today. Now here's our EKG. We can see here there's no sort of association between the P waves and the QRS. What do we have? Well, in this case, what we have is a complete heart block. And let's talk about if we see this EKG in the ambulance, well, how do we treat it? Let's talk about it. So the first thing to know, if we see a third degree heart block, this is a very ominous rhythm that can very quickly lead to cardiac arrest. So this is not a stable rhythm that the patient's in. This is a lethal rhythm that they're in, and they're heading towards cardiac arrest. Now, when I say to you stable versus unstable, when you talk about ACLS, we talk about what's the patient's mentation and what's their blood pressure. Now, if they're in third degree heart block, I doubt they're gonna be very stable. And the thing is in the ambulance, we don't have any medications that are gonna treat on stable side that are gonna treat third degree heart block. Like atropine's not gonna be effective. So that's gone. So what do we have? Well, the unstable treatments, which is, this rhythm is pretty, you know, pretty ominous, transcutaneous pacemaking. That's all we have is using the pacemaking function in the life pack.